Hello everyone, I wanted to make a video about my experiences with the next Doc Touch that I just received in the mail a few days ago. I've been doing a little bit of testing, trying to get different devices to connect to this thing. Um, I have had a very mixed experience, um, so I wanted to show what worked, what didn't work, and how you might be able to get this to work with your device. So I have three different phones here that I'll show you. This is an LG G8, this is a OnePlus 7 Pro, and this is a Galaxy Samsung Galaxy S10e. Now, the next dock works extremely well with the Samsung. It almost works every time without fail. I haven't had an issue connecting this. I have not had success with the OnePlus going with a direct USB-C to USB-C connection. Um, only the display works, there's no touch input or trackpad or mouse, and I have had even less success with the LG, where generally th this phone supports native desktop mode, this has Google's exper experimental desktop mode, and this has DeX. LG generally plugs in, and the next dot goes to a blank black screen most of the time. One time I have gotten it to power on with the display and no touch inputs. For these two phones that don't seem to be supported with uh, USB-C to USB-C very well, having one of these can solve your problem. But connecting this with power makes a huge difference. So actually power is very important in this scenario. So let me show you the different experiences. Uh, I'll just start with the Samsung because that one's obvious and it works every time. So go ahead and plug in the USB-C into the lowest bottom port here. I'll leave power unplugged for now, but it makes no difference for Samsung. Now plug in the Samsung device. Let's put these two guys out of the way for the moment. Power on the next dock. I could have done that before I plugged in, but it actually makes no difference for Samsung, which is great. They did a good job with that. So I have touch input, touchpad input, I have touch screen input, no problem, and I have keyboard input, no problem at all. Perfect. So I'm going to move the Samsung off to the side because we don't need to discuss this one. Works every time. Next, I will move on to LG. I will power cycle a dock just to be safe here. Turn this guy back on. Plug LG in directly via USB-C. What I'll get is, well, apparently nothing. <laughs> so that's a start, it's a great start. Let me power cycle the dock. Try that again. Plug the LG in. This time I got connected to secondary screen. The next dock went into a different mode, but it is black. Blank screen, no inputs, no nothing, nothing works here. I have read on, on Reddit from somebody else that if they power cycle the dock twice here, sometimes they will get a different result. I'll do that just to see. Looks like the phone did not recognize the next dock again as a secondary screen. Try again. connect it to secondary screen, another black display. So almost without fail, this happens every time. Either the phone won't recognize it or you get a black screen. It doesn't matter how many times you power cycle the dock. It just doesn't seem to work. So I'll put that one to the side and I'll get to the hub last, but let me show you OnePlus and what happens when you plug OnePlus into the powered next dock via direct USB-C to USB-C connection. You'll get a display. So uh, desktop mode is enabled in developer options. I have Taskbar 6 installed. Um, however, with direct USB-C to USB-C, no inputs work from the next dock. And that happens without fail with OnePlus. So we'll go ahead and unplug that, put the phone to the side here. And that's been my experience with USB-C to USB-C. 
every time. So now I'll show you what happens when you use an external hub. So I have this generic hub I purchased off of Amazon quite a while ago. It's got two USB 3.0 ports, one USB-C input for charging, and HDMI out. So I'll start by plugging, I'll power down the next dock. I will plug in HDMI. And I'll go ahead and plug this. This is the splitter that came with the next dock. It's a USB-C to micro USB or USB-A. And this can be used for using this as just a keyboard or mouse or touchscreen input to a device. I'm going to go ahead and plug that one into the second USB-C port, which is what they tell you to use. Power this guy on. Now another interesting factor is this uh, hub has a red LED when it is connected to HDMI or when it is just in general powered. So let me start with one plus use the hub. Okay, so OnePlus recognized this as an I2C control unit via the USB, and uh, HDMI works immediately. And what you'll find is you now have a mouse. You can click stuff. You now have a touch screen. And that also functions. And your keyboard also functions. Uh, I don't have a way to easily show that now, but believe me when I say it works. Interesting things happen if you actually have the charger plugged in to the hub. So now that everything is connected and everything's working, if you plug the wall charger into the hub, everything will be fine. Your phone will start charging. This will reconnect with the USB and everything will continue working, including your touchscreen. Unplug this and you'll find a different experience. Unplugging that causes everything to disconnect and it will not reconnect either. So at this point, the best thing to do is to unplug your phone. And you can make an attempt to power cycle the dock. Plug your phone back in and if you're lucky, everything will come back on and function. Red light is good. That's a good notification. All right, everything functions again. Here's the next interesting tidbit. Unplug this. If you have the charger plugged into the hub at this time, and you plug your device in after you've plugged in the charger, the experience is different. Let's power cycle a dock actually, because does make a difference quite often. Go ahead and power cycle the dock, plug in your OnePlus. You will get your display, but you now have no input. So the USBs do not work on the hub. And I'm not I'm not sure if this is a, a dock to hub issue. I suspect it's actually a hub issue to these phones but it doesn't work, USB doesn't work if you have it powered. Plugging in an external keyboard now, it won't work either. Unplugging power will cause this thing to reset, but because you had it powered earlier, it won't actually come back on. So now you need to power cycle the dock, unplug the phone, power the dock on, Go ahead and plug this in. If you're lucky and you get a red light, everything should work again. All right, everything works again. You can plug in the next dock to charge. Everything will continue working. If you cycle this now and you leave the charger in the next dock, everything should work again. So generally is not a problem. Oh, we've got no light anymore. Let's go ahead and cycle this. Dock back on. This, we've got a light again. Everything is good. All right, so that's my experience with OnePlus. If you can get it to work, you need one of these. 
OG is a little bit more finicky, but it does work. I'll show you that one next. Here's the G8. Go ahead and power cycle the dock. Now, at certain times, leaving the power plug in to the dock with LG didn't work. LG just didn't recognize the dock at all. Let's see if that is the case this time. It is not always the case. Okay, this time it was fine. So again, if LG works without fail, without power in the hub, you have mouse, desktop mode works, you have touch, I do believe that this is my phone's issue. It was working. As you can tell, it is actually working. You can click out of things. So I think my phone is having that there. So that worked too. But my phone seems to be having a touch problem. And that's fine. I just need to reboot it. All right, again, power into the dock seems to not matter or make a difference. Um, typing does work. I was trying to summarize this here. Plugging power into here while it's working starts charging the phone and everything continues to work. Again, unplugging power from here breaks everything. You essentially lose your light. This doesn't detect anything anymore. Power cycling the dock without cycling this connection won't fix it have to cycle the phone. And even then, a lot of times it doesn't work. Now what I found is when this happens, if you unplug the USB-A, cycle this, then you might be successful. Incorrect. This is where I said this is way more finicky. So try this again. Now start with HDMI. Lovely. The next thing I found that works is now if you power the hub to get it to turn on once and then unplug it, it just looks like it timed out, so I'm just going to power cycle it. So now this worked once. Now plug in the HDMI. Maybe cycle the phone. Let's see if that works. Yes, finally, once you get the light, it starts working. Now you can go ahead and plug in the USB. This phone will recognize it. And now you have everything working again. So, very interesting experience. It's uh, kind of difficult to get it to connect sometimes. Uh, you really don't want to be messing around with this charger before you plug anything in. If you plug it in post, I haven't tested this yet, so we'll see if this works. Plug it in post um, usage to charge your phone. Let's see, if you unplug from the phone first, then you unplug the charger, and now say you go back into the phone. Life just seems to break everything again. Now you have to go through the whole game of trying to get the hub to function. Yep, so now <laughs> unplug everything, get power to the hub, cycle that, unplug the hub, plug in HDMI. I think you can plug this in without an issue here. Now get back to the phone. Now you've got a light. Keyboard's recognized. Now it's working again. You're essentially always going to run into a problem if you power the hub. Of course your phone doesn't charge if you have it in this configuration. As a matter of fact, it looks like LG is attempting to charge the hub or back power the, um, the next dock. So that's my little video. Hopefully that was informational to you and maybe helps you get connected to your next dock touch. Um, this isn't ideal at all. 
since uh, you need this contraption to be able to use your LG or your OnePlus device. Um, if you have a Samsung, you'll essentially have no problems. Everything works fine. Um, I have a couple of quirks that I dislike with this dock. Uh, one of them is the trackpad. I uh, don't find it very responsive for trying to aim at smaller targets, and um, that can give you finger fatigue trying to do smaller things on the display. Um, obviously, the biggest letdown for me is the connectivity issues for phones that are shown to be supported on the support page, but do not work. And that would be LG and its desktop mode, OnePlus and the experimental desktop mode. Samsung is fine. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that was informational. Good luck on getting your next dock connected and working.